me here, YouTube family. Quavo's sister, Take Off Auntie, is not playing about their family. They are serious and they talking and they speaking up about the tragedy that occurred to their loved ones. And before we get started in sharing this story, I need y'all to do me a favor, man. Hit that like button. Hit that notification bell. Thank you for rocking out with the I Smoke Hip Hop Live platform. I am your guy, DJ Bless One. Also, go rock with that Atlanta native, that Atlanta King Pesh Mayweather. Go show him some love and support on his YouTube channel. Show him some support on his IG as well. That's Pesh Mayweather, DTE in the house. Now, we want to talk about Takeoff Sister. She's been going through it. She's been showing that love is needed to be shared right now. But let's turn up with her for a little bit. She turns up on a lot of folks. She turns up on the situation about the death of her family. She wants justice and she wants justice right away ASAP. She she not standing for it, y'all. Like, I felt the vibrations in what she said. We're going to show it right now. I wanted to give her some love and show what she said about the whole article. Now, before we go to the picture, she basically wanted answers over Takeoff's death. She said, find out who did this by any means. And she posted this right here. She posted the IG message and said, find out who did this to my nephew by any means. And I'm not mad at it. I believe in I for an I. I believe justice got to be searched. You've, I mean, served in, in the the full force of pressure, bro, coming out of any energy if you take minds. And I know everybody feels like that. Now, it starts off with the banner simply. I mean, uh, uh, the article, it says the hip hop community is still reeling from the loss of takeoff and no arrest has been made in the case by authorities yet. Quavo's sister is demanding answers as she put forth a public plea looking for help in finding the person uh, basically responsible for the 28 year old's Migos rapper's death. Find out who did this to my nephew by any means, she wrote. To her Instagram story earlier this week, Takeoff was shot multiple times and killed outside of 810 Billards in the bowling alley of Houston during the early hours of November 1st. That was 15 days ago. The Harris County Medical Examiner listed his cause of death as basically penetrating gunshot wounds of head and torso into arm in a clip obtained by TMZ. You know what I'm saying? Quavo can be seen and heard arguing with someone outside the Houston bowling alley. Takeoff can be seen standing just a few feet away. The tense exchange which seemingly uh, basically entered around the basketball. Uh, um, that's what they thought it was because they heard him say that. But anyway, Quavo, who was not reportedly playing dice at the time, can be heard saying, man, I don't care about no basketball, bro. Don't play like that, bro. And... If y'all don't know what they're talking about, let's go to that um, video right quick and play it for y'all so y'all can see the night in question as far as what they detailing. It was this right here. And I'm a lower the audio. I just wanted, I don't, we don't have to play the whole thing. It was this video in question here. And you seen where Takeoff, they said he was standing right by Shakur when it went down. And you seen Quavo right here. So it was a lot of folks there trying to be quiet about it. But people are acting like they don't know what happened. You feel me? Because everybody keeping a G code. Look, if you ain't part of the streets, bruh. You ain't part of the G code of keeping it silent. It's my personal opinion. Now I'm going to go back to the queen right quick to get more understanding of what she was saying and, and, and talking about because our hearts is with the family of takeoff and quavo now quavo's sister goes in a little bit deeper about the situation now they said moments later a physical altercation breaks out followed uh by gunfire over 10 shots were filmed which tmz is speculating they came from more than one weapon i mean if you've been around weapons before like i have a military or no military you know it was multiple weapons just by hearing the different gun sounds that ain't snitching that ain't i mean any expert or any fool already knows that now they said a video in question shows an individual reaching for a weapon 
and he has been identified as a person of interest in the shooting. The one they talking about is Migo Bands. He he is not a suspect. Notice the cops said a person of interest and not suspect. That means a lot because they didn't see him shooting and he wasn't reaching for a weapon. His hand already was on it. He was clutching. That's what any grown man and woman do in a hostile type of environment situation. So Migo Bands is proven innocent. He's not proven to be the one who shot anything. He's just being proven to clutch. That's why they say he's a person of interest in the shooting. Now, law enforcement sources said Joshua Wash Washington, which was the assistant, which we already showed that. Now, they saying he was shot as well as well outside the bowling alley. And the 23 year old was rushed from the scene to the hospital with non life threatening injuries. There also was a female who was shot there. I don't know why they didn't show her, but she was hit too. Now, Washington reportedly served as Quavo's day-to-day -day assistant and is part of the operational management team over at Honcho Records. In addition to Wash and Takeoff, there was also a 24-year-old female shot as the other victim who was expected to survive her injuries. Takeoff was laid to rest during an intimate ceremony inside Atlanta's State Farm Arena last Friday, November 11th, where fellow Migos members Offset and Quavo spoke as well as quality quality control founders kevin coach k lee as well now the last part of this article states the video footage of offset on stage backed by two people as he fights back tears during the emotional service uh changed culture of music forever you did that take offset said you changed that flow that flow came from take the originator originator and, and if y'all don't believe that he was the originator they all gave take off love on a video that was uh wellly produced let's go to that video where they gave him love as the originator of their foundation who was rapping first who started rapping first but Take was rapping first, man. He the youngest. We was all out going crazy, running around. My boy Take, nah, my boy Take. We all rapping first. They just really? played other sports. Not, listen, man, let me tell you something. They just played sports. I never played a sport. I can play sports. I just fully committed to go to the party because he wanted to record. He wanted to record, man. He was, he stop doing that, bro. You know what's going on. <laughs> Where'd he go? I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? I just had five ass songs. Song. He the first one got the first gold record. Right. We're fighting. Man, Cause my boy Tate been spinning bars. Yeah. Yeah. In my opinion, he the best. He the best one out of all of us. You know what I'm saying? He the youngest. Yeah, do that, he been man. like that. Man, to, me, man. to me, he the Go best to one. Uh -oh. To me, he the best one out the group. Man. Go to the north side. Soon we see I, I on the north side. That's the first thing they say. They say take off. Yeah, man. Everybody, watch out, boy. Boy, take off on the way. Let me take off my glasses whoa, whoa. and let y'all know. <laughs> wait, so wait. See, that's that's love, man. You can hear it in them. They know how, how they feel about each other. You know what I'm saying? Like, they know already, man. It's deeper than some rap stuff. It, it's, it's serious. You know, it's one of them things that's serious out here. It's just love. A loving family, you could say. Want to, telling you. Oh, ain't the little one a big one. <laughs> Yeah, sleep on me if you want to, telling you. Oh, yeah, this is a big one. This ain't a little one, is it? No, no <laughs> sir, and it laying flat right on my neck. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah, this is a big one. This ain't a little my heart goes out to the family man honestly um, we with y'all. Shout out to her and her beautiful husband and family. Um once again man i'm gonna say what th this thing needs to be stopped um love need to be shown more with us you feel me love needs to be grown with us too man so to see that uh um quavo's sister and take off family is giving love like that and if i confuse the two it sounded like i said take off sister y'all know i met quavo i'm just reading a lot of articles and putting it for y'all to see factual things too um but we with y'all, man, and the Osmo Hip Hop family understands what's going on, and we hope that our love and admiration for all of y'all could be shown here, and we could be respectful to everybody, man. Look, man, love your family, love your kids, and definitely stay blessed, man. Hit that like button, hit that notification bell, and thank you for rocking out with the Osmo Hip Hop Live family. I am your guy, DJ Bless One Salute.